Hey guys, I'm coming to you totally barefaced today to um, show you kind of what I do in the morning, just real quick natural makeup look. Um, so this is gonna be for the days where I'm just homeschooling the kids and running errands, running to the post office, taking the kids to karate, things like that. So I'm not um, on a date or you know trying to be super, super cute. Just want to um, be able to go out in public. Um, sometimes this is just like five minutes for myself in the morning. Um, right now the kids are, seem to be playing nice outside, so I'm gonna do this really quick just to show you kind of what I do whenever I have just a second for myself in the morning. So I've got my mirror here. I'm gonna show you kind of makeup basic routines. Um, so as you can see, the first thing I'm doing is just putting some moisture on my face because you think when you wake up first thing in the morning, um, your skin is probably gonna be dry. Even me living in Florida, I still definitely need some moisture on my face in the mornings. So what I'm gonna start with is just some whatever moisturizer you have. So right now I'm using the face cream with tea, tree, and citrus. And I love this. Um, I was starting to have some breakouts here and there. Um, I think just hormonal or whatever. So I switched over to this. There's also botanicals. You can use um, the ultra hydrating body cream as a moisturizer if you have it. So whatever natural moisturizer you have, put that on. And then I have the lemongrass nourishing lip butter. This is, um, I love this product. It, it has like a, like a lemon scent to it so it's very refreshing i love putting that first thing in the morning later on i'll have lip gloss of course giving given the time for it but minimum do moisturizing and then for myself if i only have time for one other thing say the kids don't give me a break and they're just running in and out of my room minimum i do is moisturizer and uh, mascara but if i have a little more time which i'm going to stretch my luck and see if i can do a little bit more so i can show you some other things um, then i go through a couple other makeup products so i'm going to show you this first well first of all i'm going to tell you i have all the old packaging for the lemongrass products because i got it right before they came out with their new um, packaging so all of the new sheer minerals packaging will have a black lid like this you can see the sheer minerals on there and um, you can see the product through the back so this one is the graphite eyeshadow so hopefully it's zooming in a little bit and what's unique about this is um, it has a sifter inside so you can see you just turn this and you can get however much out you need so that's beneficial because you can close it up and it makes it easier for to travel with you don't have to worry about more coming out than you need and then also um, you can still use the lid to um, get mixed coloring in and things like that um, but I love the new packaging but what I'm showing you today is the old packaging so yours would look like this if you ordered some now so I'm going to start off with a cover-up concealer um, there are I think three different shades you can get for the cover-up this is great to start with if um, you don't have any sheer minerals makeup and you want to do some kind of powder foundation type thing or concealer and you're just not really sure where to start with this is a great place to start because you really could use this as a little bit thicker uh, foundation it's a little bit thicker than the sheer minerals foundation colors and i'll show you those in a minute but what's great about this is you can just use it to cover up little spots um, so i'm gonna just look for any little imperfections. Um, the next thing I'll show you on another video is the concealing sticks. So that'll be another one, but this is great if you're just gonna use powder and you're just covering up um, kind of imperfections, or if you just wanna do just like, if you have a lot to cover up and you just wanna cover up with um, a bigger brush. So I'll show you that one in a second. So I had a couple of things to cover up there and then also for foundations. So I have the golden medium and the sand medium. So you can see a little bit the difference in the color. I'm going to mix them um, because it is the beginning of summer and I'm starting to get a little bit of sun, but so I'm not as light as I was during the winter, starting to get a little more sun, being outside a little bit more, doing some yard work. So I'm gonna mix a little bit half and half for myself. Um, but I can help you figure out what color you need if you're not sure and you're just getting started. So, just gonna get a little bit mixed in and this is just gonna even out the tone of my skin. Again, for these days I have just an extra little minute. A little bit of that in too. And also, 
wanted to show you this Kabuki brush. This is my favorite brush, and it's great for mixing in foundations and powders and things like that. I'm gonna use this for blush too. So normally I do it a little bit later on, but since we've got it out, I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, so what you'll see I'm mixing on a little mixing tray like this. You can do it inside of the lids, um, but I have one of these lemongrass bomb mixing trays and I think they have a new color out too that has lids on it that you can save your powder. So if you don't use it all in one day, you have a lid that you can put on it and it screws on and it'll save your colors too for the next day. So um, we have those mixing trays available. So the blush I'm using today is Sweet Cheeks. This is my favorite. It's just a really light, real light pink. Got, oh, see I put too much in there so I'll have to save some of that for tomorrow. I love these sweet pink colors um, for summertime. We also have darker ones as well. There's lots of great blush colors. All right, so I think we're done with our Kabuki brush. I'm trying to go through this pretty quick, see how much time I actually have with the kids. All right, and so the next thing I'm gonna show you is the eyeshadows. So I like to use like a lighter color right here and here and then on the brows. So it's kind of like you're highlighting the areas that you want to stand out more. And then a darker color in the crease right here. And um, I like to use one that's a little bit lighter for just days that I'm running around. So my go-to colors for running around during the week are Ballerina Pink. It's, um, it's like a nice lighter color if you're gonna use like a white, but you don't wanna be 290s. I think ballerina pink is a good one. And then my other favorite color, I've mentioned to several of you guys, is Seaside. So this is a great green color. Another one of my favorites that I happen to have on my tray from yesterday is Frosted Taupe. So it's kind of like a mix between a, a gray and a brown. So it's a, a little bit more of a, a little bit darker color. I really love it. So I'm gonna use our eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go with the light one all over. Um, one of the things you've noticed is that the foundation, I did put it on my eyes. So what that does to have that extra powder on your eyes is it's going to make it easier for the eyeshadows to stay longer. Okay, so that was the Ballerina Pink and then now we're gonna add some Seaside. So this is not gonna be a dramatic transformation compared to a lot of the videos you see online. Um, but it's not meant to be, you know, this is just a normal, everyday, natural look. It should just take a few minutes. All right, and that's really all I'm gonna do, just a little bit of color in the crease is what you're gonna see, and then the rest should just be more of like a highlight. And uh, one thing to mention about these eyeshadows is if you take a um, angled brush, like one of these, um, and you get it wet, you can use it as eyeliner. So you just get the brush wet, kind of wipe off the water so it's still damp, dap it in the eyeshadow, and then you can use it as an eyeliner. Um, so there's lots of fun things you can do with that. I am going to go ahead and put on some mascara. So what I have today is the Lemongrass Organic Mascara. This comes in black or brown, and I wear this every day. I like the idea of using natural mascara because it is the product that I use every day and I want to, um, you know, 20, 30 years from now to look back and know that I did not, you know, voluntarily put a chemical on my face every day. Um, I don't know how long term it would affect vision and um, things like that. You know, a lot of the things we're putting on our face now, it hasn't had a long enough time to uh, really be studied about how it affects our body. So I don't want to take that chance. Um, vision is so important. I definitely got mascara right there. Um, so it's just my personal thoughts. So I'd rather go natural if I can. All right, so now this is one of my favorite products. I have a whole video on our brow pomade. So this is the medium colored brow pomade. This is one of my favorites um, because my brows have always been a um, very prominent feature on my face. So 
it's nice to be older and have a product that I can use to tame that and um, have it do what, I'm, what I want it to do. So there is a wax mix in, in the um, brow pomade that helps all of the hairs stay as they should be and just a little bit of tint that will color it in just where you need it to be. So I'm going to do this pretty quickly because I do have the other video that explains more details on it, but it also comes in a darker color as well. So um, I recommend getting the dual brush with it. Um, it is very helpful. You can use this for many things. So check out the video on this. If you can't find it on my page, just let me know and I'll tag you in it. Um, so this is the dual brush. You see it has the swivel brush that comes with it and then the angled brush that I showed you a minute ago. Lots of uses for this. Okay, and then last minute thing, if I have time, some lip gloss. All right, so this lip gloss is the um, Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum is my favorite color, but I have all of them, but this is the one I wear the most. You can't really see it, but it's great. It has like a vanilla scent um, to it and it has stevie in it. So if you do end up with some in your mouth, just naturally it's gonna be a little bit sweeter. Um, I love this stuff. I love knowing that it's natural going in my, so close to my face too. All right, so that's just like day-to-day -day makeup, getting ready. Um, last thing I always do is spray something in my hair. So it's nice to have something that's good for your hair and your body. This is the Lavender Relaxation. It's the Aromatherapy Sense um, Room and Body Spray. So I can use that all over. And um, also, you know, many of our, like our body sprays have vitamin E in it. So it's actually good for your hair too. So you can spray it in your hair and on your body and it's good for your skin and your hair. All right, so that's just a quick, um, just day-to-day -day natural makeup application so you get to see kind of a before and after. So this is my running around look and um, I have fun doing it. It's just a few minutes every day for myself that I just do something for myself. Um, I think we all need just a, a moment no matter how young our kids are or how old our kids are, if we do have kids or don't have kids. Um, so let me know if you have any questions um, down below. Tell me what your favorite product was. All right, thanks guys.